We're here today to uh, hopefully bring a little bit more relief to this community. That was an announcement the entire valley had been waiting to hear for one terrifying year. After nine gruesome and violent murders, a string of armed robberies and sexual assaults, there was a collective sigh of relief from the community and public officials. We're fortunate today to have another monster off the street. My name is Mark Godot. But this man, Mark Godot, remembers it differently. My last day of freedom, I was uh, coming home from work. Opened up my door and they was like, get out, get out, get out, get on the ground. They handcuffed me. They throw me in the back of the police car. Godot has remained behind bars ever since and will likely stay there until he is executed. Unless any of what he told this British documentary crew is true. I'm 100% innocent and I've been framed by the Phoenix Police Department task force. Godot spent most of the interview arguing that evidence against him was planted. Cover up. The DNA testing was rigged. Fabricated DNA. And his arrest was the result of extreme pressure on Phoenix PD. They needed a suspect. To catch a serial killer. They needed someone. They needed someone. I was the perfect person living in the neighborhood. Oh, he's black. Oh, he's uh, ex-con. We use him. Ain't nobody gonna believe him because he's ex-con. At times, the convicted murderer appears to choke up. I feel like I'm underwater. I can see people standing there looking at me, but not throwing me a life jacket. At other times, he is focused and assertive, especially when he talks about holes in the prosecution's case and what he says is a lack of physical evidence linking him to the crimes. They couldn't place a gun in my hand. They couldn't place no damn bullets or whatever in my hand. Godot has spent almost his entire adult life in prison. Convicted of aggravated assault when he was 25, he had been out just two years when he was arrested in the baseline case. I got out, I had changed my life around. He worked in construction. I used to enjoy um, hiking, outings with the family. Mostly, he says, he misses his wife, Wendy. She know me better than I know myself. She would have seen something. She would have knew something. Just don't go kill a person and go home and be a normal person. Did you ever see anything mm -hmm. that Mark did that made you suspicious during this time? I have to tell you, I can't look back at Mark when he was home and see a single thing wrong. I don't think not a thing, not a thing. This isn't fantasy. But the evidence presented at trial was enough to convince 12 jurors that Godot is, in fact, the baseline killer. They believe that they have found the suspect. Legal experts say the case against him was strong, but not perfect. And our investigation uncovered evidence the jury never saw, evidence that raises questions. Was there enough DNA to conclusively point to Mark Godot? How did a key piece of evidence appear at Godot's home one month after he was arrested? And could one man have committed all of these crimes alone? Or was there someone else? But the biggest question is one Godot himself asks. Whether it really was him or someone else, the question is, why? I had anything I wanted house, two new cars, beautiful wife. The hell I'm gonna be out there raping and robbing people for 30, 40 dollars for it.